My guest tonight is Catherine Deves. She became prominent last year when she was picked by then Prime Minister Scott Morrison to run for the previously blue ribbon seat of Warringah. Deves is as close as Australia has to a Kelly J. Keane, a defender of women's rights, especially against the incursions of transgender men. Deves has thrown her hat in the ring for the New South Wales Senate seat made vacant by the unfortunate death of the great Jim Molan. Let's find out what chance she has of winning the seat, how that might happen, and what she would bring to the table if she got there. Catherine, welcome. Hi, Fred. Thanks so much for having me on today. First, Catherine, please explain to the viewers how these things are decided when there is a vacant Senate seat and uh, uh, it's the party in that particular state that decides who to replace or who to fill that vacancy. Yeah, that's right. There's an internal vote. Um, there's a number of people that are called selectors. Uh, uh, potential candidates put their hands up, they go through a nomination process, then they run a campaign internally, and then it's decide there's a democratic vote to decide on the person to fill that vacancy. Well, democratic is one way to put it. You're being very polite. Who are <laughs> these people and how do they get to the positions they have? And, and, and do they have uh, conflicts of interest? Uh, do you mean with the people who are, are voting? Yes. Um, voting in the candidate? Um, Look, I mean, it, it's a huge group of people. Obviously, the Liberal Party is a divergent. Um, it, we have a broad church. There'll be people with many divergent views, uh, people who are a member who are entitled to uh, put their hands up provided they uh, qualify uh, with membership requirements, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just the grassroots members of the party. So it's members. It's not the executive. It's the members of the party in that state. Is that how it's decided? Uh, look, it's with uh, members of the of the state executive, yes, who get to uh, okay. vote. So, and that's just yeah. a little more than a dozen people, isn't it? Oh no, no, no! There's selectors. That there's eight hundred selectors. Sorry, eight hundred okay. selectors. Oh, all right, now it's clear. Sorry. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's. I mean, that's getting closer to democratic. I mean, you are being filling a seat that is meant to represent the entire state of New South Wales. To 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 reduce the selection process down to eight hundred is. Is not as bad as reducing it down to a dozen, but it's still, uh, mm -hmm. how does the process work? I mean, do you have to travel the state um, pleading your case to these people? How does it work? Oh, so you run uh, a campaign. So what you would do is uh, with the 800 people, you would uh, want to reach out to as many as possible. Uh, of course, you do that uh, via text message, snail mail. Uh, you would have a website. You would have a video stating what your... Um, what your views are, what platform that you're going to run on. Uh, it would be like an ordinary election campaign. You would have some events and you would make as big an effort as possible to connect personally with each of those people. 